Hello Solana, my name is Chris Wilson, and in this video, we will go over how to take advantage of staking on Solana. We'll start with a simple explanation of Solana, followed by how to stake Solana using Soulflare. Soulflare allows a ledger compatible option for added security. For this video, we'll be using the native Soulflare self-custody method, which does not require a ledger device. However, I will be including how to stake on Soulflare using ledger as well. Solana is a fast, secure, and censorship-resistant blockchain, providing the open infrastructure required for the global adoption of the world's first web-scale blockchain. Solana's architecture aims to demonstrate that a set of software algorithms used in combination with blockchain can remove the performance limitations of the software. Solana aims to solve the scalability problems without sharding. To do this, Solana implements Proof of History, or POH, on top of its Proof of Stake consensus mechanism to encode time into the blockchain. This property allows us to optimize the network across multiple parameters, particularly block time. Solana is a proof of stake network, meaning anyone who holds soul tokens can delegate some of their soul to one or more validators and earn rewards in return. Validators process transactions and create new blocks that the network runs on. Follow along here to learn how to delegate soul tokens via self custody through Soulflare. By the way, if you would like to learn more about the basics of staking, check out our What is Staking video linked in the description below. But first, Let's head over to soulflare.com where we can create a free wallet and get started staking. Once we get to soulflare.com, the landing page should look similar to this. To create a new wallet, we have two options, mnemonic seed phrase or ledger device. I will go over both so you can decide which will work best for you. You can use the chapters in the timeline to jump to the relevant sections as needed, and there's also timestamps in the description. Setting up a new wallet using the mnemonic is pretty straightforward, but there are some things to know, so let's jump in and start by clicking Create a New Wallet. We'll create a password. Make sure it's strong and memorable. I don't recommend using passwords you've used in the past. I'm going to be skipping this for now, but here's where you would input your passwords. Next, we'll see our mnemonic seed phrase that our private keys are derived from. In Ensure this file is stored safely, preferably on a device that does not connect to the internet. These are the keys to our castle, so backing up this piece of information is crucial. The mnemonic seed phrase is needed to log into the Soulflare wallet. If you lose your mnemonic, you will lose access to your funds as this is a non-custodial wallet, meaning Soulflare can't help you recover your wallet if you lose your seed phrase or password. Anyone who has your mnemonic can easily recreate your wallet and access your assets. Never share them with anyone and store them offline. There are many options to store this seed phrase securely. One is to download it to an encrypted thumb drive or an encrypted folder on a regular thumb drive and storing it in a fireproof, waterproof safe, for instance. Thumb drives can fail, so you might want to take advantage of multiple backups stored in separate locations. It's important to note that inputting your seed phrase online Line incurs a certain level of risk if mismanaged. With a hardware wallet, you never take on that risk. Therefore, we recommend using the Ledger hardware wallet if you or your organization would like to maintain complete control of your assets in a secure way. But more on that later. For now, we'll confirm that our seed phrase is correct. So we can click on the next button here, and I'm just going to paste in my seed phrase here, and we can click verify. Great. If successful, you should now see your newly created soul Flare wallet. You will see your portfolio page with options to send and receive assets and a list of your accounts and balances. Up top here, we can see tabs for staking, swapping, and NFTs. For this video, we'll be exploring the staking section. To stake Solana, we'll first want to deposit soul tokens to our Soulflare address, which you will find on your portfolio page right here. So you can click this button, it will copy it, or you can use a QR code. So if you have this open on your desktop, you have Coinbase on your phone, you can scan this QR code and know you're sending it to the correct address. This is how you set up your wallet if you do not have a ledger device. Now we're going to jump back a few steps and see what it looks like to set up a wallet using the Ledger hardware device. And from there, we'll continue the process of staking as it is the same from here on. Feel free to use the chapters in the timeline or timestamps in the description to jump ahead if you do not have a Ledger device. 
You can buy one from shop.ledger.com. This is the model I'm using. To access your ledger through Soulflare, we will click on access a wallet from the homepage and then connect our ledger device to our computer. But first, let's install Solana and transfer some funds to our ledger device to stake. So here we can go ahead and plug in our ledger device to our computer. And when you first plug it in, it's gonna ask for your pin and there we are. So from here, we're gonna go to install app and click both of the buttons at the same time. And this will ask us to open our ledger live to install apps. You can go ahead and jump back to the computer and we will go to ledger live and there it is. And we can download the app here if we don't already have it. And then open the app once it's downloaded, it should open up to your portfolio page. We are interested in the manager down here and this will prompt you to approve the manager on your ledger device. And there we go. Here we can go under search app and catalog, type in SOL and there's Solana. And then right over here, you'll click on install and it'll install it for you. So before sending funds to our Solana app, we're gonna wanna go ahead and navigate to Solana and then click both the buttons, go to settings, allow binding sign, you're gonna double click buttons there and then, and then click yes. So now we are ready to send some Solana to our ledger device. But how do we do that? Well, go back to Soulflare and now we will go to access a wallet. Under here, we can click on ledger and then click continue. We'll see that we have a derivable accounts and we have several to pick from. We can just stick with the recommended and we can see here that I have a little bit of soul left over on mine. So let's go ahead and put in a new password. And there we go. We are inside of our wallet now. And if we would like to send Solana to this address here, we can receive and there's our address. If we notice, same address is up here. So we can just go ahead and copy that. And now we can jump over to Coinbase. All right, and we will send over, I think the mi yeah, minimum is like one soul that you can send. So we'll go ahead and send 1.3. So put in our address that we want to send it to. Do your authentications. And there we are. All right. So at this point, we've either safely secured our mnemonic C and signed into our Soulflare wallet and funded it, or we have set up Solana on our ledger, signed into Soulflare with our ledger and sent our ledger some funds. Now we can stake Solana and we'll see right here that we can earn 7.25% APY when staking Sol. So let's go ahead and click stake. Solana, start staking. The amount we want to stake, you can do the full amount, but you will need to save some for gas to pay. It's really a low amount, but you will need some. And then we can select our validator. And the best validator I know is Figment. Here we can see the address of the validator. We can also see the stats. And once we are happy with this, we can go ahead and click stake. Now it will ask us to approve the message on our ledger. There we go, we've approved it and there it went through. So we can click on the transaction when it pops up and go and look at it on Solana Beach and see all the juicy details about it there. We can also see on the homepage of Solana Beach that we have six hours and 10 minutes until the next epoch. So so in six hours and 10 minutes, my stake will become active. So we can go back to Soulflare and expand this box and we can see all the details of our stake. The stake balance is 1.3, activating right now. So we should see that hit in the next epoch. Six and a half hours later. So coming back to our portfolio on the next epoch, we can go to staking and expand to see that our stake is active now and that we have 1.29 soul in our active stake. Our options here are to split the stake if we wanted to move some of this into a, another account that we can stake with another validator. But what if you wanted to add to your stake here? Well, there's no option to add to this already existing transaction, but what we can do is create another account, add our amount and choose our validator and then click stake just as we did before. And that will create another one. Now, if we want to undelegate, we can click undelegate, confirm the transaction on our ledger device. And there we go. Now it is deactivating. We can go back over to the main dashboard on Solana Beach and see that we have about seven hours and three minutes until the next epoch. And that will come out then.
Congratulations, you've just successfully delegated your soul tokens. If you have any questions, be sure to join Staking Hub, our one-stop shop for all things staking. A link to join Staking Hub is provided in the description below. At Figment, we offer a few different services to help users participate in staking in various ways. With products like Hubble and Prime, Hubble is the platform validators and token holders use to explore and interact with Web3 protocols. Hubble redefines what a block explorer should be by enhancing the protocol data available instead of simply presenting it. And Figment Prime offers advanced reporting, tooling, and customer support for large token holders. Our Figment Prime dashboard is an all-in-one portfolio management tool that allows delegators to track earnings reporting for the various networks Figment supports. We provide top-of-the-line staking services to community members, token holders, VC funds, exchanges, custodians, hedge funds, fiduciaries, and more. You can learn more about Figment at Figment.io and follow us on Twitter at Figment underscore IO. In case you missed it, be sure to check out our other videos in our What Dat series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3 custody and staking. You can find links to these videos in the description below or on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Figment underscore IO. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. As always, if you had any questions about staking or simply want to talk Solana Tech, you can join us at Staking Hub with the link in the description. I hope to see you there, and until next time, happy staking.